As I walked through the doors of the Children's Center 11 years ago, I am sure that I had the same feelings as a first-time client. Nervous because of the unknown, but hopeful. Broken in spirit, but in need of healing. Alone in the world, but in need of support. I knew very little about mental health, but I did know how to lead. I had a broken spirit and wanted to be healed. I felt alone and craved support. Little did I know that I needed the Children's Center as much as they needed me. I watched, I listened, where do I start? I needed the wisdom of a few of our founders and community members, Dr. Rule, Dr. Tadros, Dr. Lynn, and Bro Patterson. They met with me without hesitation. We met, we made a plan. Change was happening with the board of directors. The passion of Lori Fisher, Tanya Cohen, Dr. Susan Nasser, and Ken Lawrence gave me the inspiration that I needed to move CCAB forward. At the same time, Deputy Chief Joellen Perkins was impressing on the county the great value that CC, CCAB had in our community. She wondered why I had stepped into the executive director position, but she soon found out that it was my passion for children. And from that moment on, she began to mentor me and show me the way. CCAB was created over 30 years ago to serve children who had experienced trauma and teach them the skills they needed to move forward. To continue this work, a strong professional team needed to be created. It wasn't an easy task and it took a few years, but we now have highly qualified therapists and a staff who work together to make positive change. They were the support I needed. My spirit came back. I thought a few years ago that I had accomplished what I set out to do. When Dr. Tadros showed up with this lady that I had no idea who she even was. She started asking me questions about CCAB and the community. Dr. Hager was her name. She is the author of books and curriculum that colleges use to teach their students about child abuse. She designed the forensic unit at Antelope Valley Hospital and she is the guru of child abuse. She firmly stated that my work was not done. The AB needed to create a family hub that provided all the resources that a family in need would need. So I got busy. One of my favorite things to do is create new spaces. So with the help of board member Joe Acosta, we got busy and redesigned new spaces for our community partners and therapists and Tay, but we still needed more space. So a capital campaign was put in full swing and then COVID hit. Time to regroup. Sustainability became the priority. So the board of directors, the staff and community came together to design a three to five year strategic plan. It was completed and is now our roadmap for the future. Over these 11 years, I have experienced many simple joys. Seeing the eyes of a child light up when receiving toys and their very first Christmas tree. Listening to the calm and caring voices of a clinician as they walk a client down the hall. The giggle of the child as they respond to someone they trust. Observing the people who have chosen this as their profession and admiring them for the work that they do. Watching a foster mom bring in a little one for therapy in the hope that the child will learn that it's okay to be loved. I am just like the client who walked in through that door. I have healed, my spirit is strong, and I know that I will always have the support of the wonderful staff at CCAB. And soon I too will walk out that door as a different person. It has been my pleasure to serve the community and CCAB and CCAB is in great hands and will forever be in my heart.